So, um, yesterday I got my weekly ride down to the studio and I got myself set up and I painted for a while last night, probably till midnight or so, and then had to crash. And now I've been up for a few hours painting and I love waking up in, in a space where I can paint. I just, uh, really, it's, it, it's just so exciting to me to wake up and there's everything. There's my canvases. There's my paint, there's all my materials, and I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to shower, I don't have to put pants on if I don't want to. I literally, I wake up and I just get to work. And it doesn't matter how my RSD is affecting me that day, all I know is I get to work. And so that's what I do, and that's what I've been doing all morning. Unfortunately, I have this internal clock that says once it hits noontime, my day is over and I've, you know, I've wasted uh, the morning. No matter what I've done, I feel I've wasted uh, time. And I can't, I, ugh, it's, it's loony. I keep pushing and I keep painting all day because I won't be able to get back here for another week. But in the meantime, I'm going, oh my god, it's noon time, you're a failure. So I wanted to, wanted to show everybody what, what I've been working on. Um, I've got always have a ton of paintings going at once and I have a clean canvas sitting over in the corner all wrapped up and the way my head works is I have to have paintings in various stages. What, the final stage once they're done and signed, once they're completely done and signed I want them out the door. I don't even want to see them again or I don't want to see them until I have a proper space to hang them in which I'm working on right now. I'm working on a kind of a big show for next year. I've decided as well as a couple of other really big projects. But um, anyway, in the meantime, uh, I'm just produce work. So I've got paintings in, <laughs> sorry, I'm half asleep. I have paintings in various stages from the blank canvas to a couple finished ones that I haven't been able to put in storage yet. Mm -hmm, that's another story. But I've got all the stages in between from this guy, which is, you know, just started to gesso it, put, um, put black gesso down over the white gesso, putting down acrylics, dripping it down. This is for a portrait of my friend Jeremy, Jeremy Aruda that I'm hoping to start. I'll probably start it this afternoon. Um, <coughs> to these two, which I started last week, the girl with the umbrella, I started her last week and had a couple of hours to spend on her. Started working on her again this morning and rearranged the umbrella so it's a little bit larger, a little bit weightier, and I moved moved the skeletal of the umbrella out so that she's, um, it does feel bigger, it does feel weightier. I had it pulled in before and she looked truncated, it just looked bizarre. Then I've got my two drag friends that I'm working on and several other paintings, a raven and such. But as you can see, everything is up on, just going to check something, uh, everything is up on, um, just kind of cropped. I don't work in a conventional manner. I don't work with um, easels. Number one, they're expensive. Number two, I haven't found one that can accommodate me appropriately. What I'm hoping to do are build walls that I can roll around the floor. Almost everything I have is on wheels. So I'm constantly moving things around my studio and accommodating the canvases. And the, the movement everything on wheels helps to keep my view of the work fresh. It doesn't get stale. And I don't like easels because they tend to make me feel stale. First of all, they're just so ridiculously expensive. I understand that, you know, that's a craft unto itself. But it's not something I can invest in. And because I've never been able to invest in it, um, I've never been able to buy it big $2,000 easel, which is what I would need to spend to get the size I need and the sturdiness I need, I, I've learned to adapt. And I'm fine with this. I'm actually perfectly happy with this. I'm so happy with propping my stuff up on chairs and little ladders and tables on wheels that I've turned into a seagull and I'm constantly running around looking for, you know, new tables on wheels I can steal or you know, anything with wheels that I can pilfer. Anyway, ah, 
almost dropped it. Um, anyway, last night I started this painting of my friend Jeremy Arruda. And I really wanted to do him in a two canvas. Similar to the drag, you know, my drag friends, they were two canvas. I wanted to do Jeremy in a two canvas. And I sat here kind of looking at the canvases and looking at them and looking at them and thinking, do I want to put them side by side? Which is, is traditional. I was going to pair it up, pair him up with another image and have them side by side, but then oh, it's so boring. So I decided to put them on top of each other, even though, I don't know, I kind of went back and forth over this. It, does it look like I'm trying too hard when I put them on top of each other? Does it look like an amateur's mistake of, oh, look at how clever I am? I don't know. I'm going to start it and we'll see what happens. And hopefully I won't have to change my mind. If I do, I do. I'll just, you know, I can use it again. It's not a big deal. But I'm hoping this doesn't come across as something that's arrogantly clever. Oh, look at me. Or immaturely clever. I just I hate it when people try and do unconventional things. Because you can feel it. You can feel the lack of, uh, the lack of sincerity. And I really want all of my work to feel sincere and not like I'm putting myself over the subject or myself over the reference material. I want the character, the people, whatever the subject is in my paintings, to be king, not my wittiness. So uh, I, last night I was trying to set up to paint this and you know I do stick tacks in the walls to hold up canvases but then I kind of hate it because they feel so staid. You know, there's no way to move them. Like, I like to move my paintings around and, you know, turn them different directions and upside down and sideways. And, you know, I, there's, there's just not that feeling of movement. Even if I hang it on the wall for a little while, it just feels ugh, like it's on, a, it, it's on an easel and you just, you know, oh, you have to do it this way. And, I hate that feeling. So I found um, found an old canvas stretcher that I was actually going to use uh, for a very large project. And the people in charge of it, I don't even know what happened with them. Um, but I got stuck with all these very large. <laughs> OK, we won't pull that off right now. There's paint stuck, paint holding the canvas there. But I got stuck with some very large uh, practice stretchers up to 9 and 12 feet high, which was supposed to be part of the project. And um, I've had them sitting around waiting for another project to happen along. Um, not so much I'm going to use them because they're poorly constructed, but mainly so I can look at them and get an idea of size. So when something large like this comes along, my brain is already trained to think in that direction and to just do the work. So I have these large stretchers. And I really wanted to do Jeremy's painting, to do this portrait of, of Jeremy, but I don't want it on the wall, and I don't have any, any great setup for a double canvas. So I took the stretcher, found these pieces of wood um, in the mill, and kind of pilfered them, attached them onto this old stretcher, and now I've got what I need. And I'm really excited about it, because I can take this and just move it anywhere. Well, not right now, because my arm hurts. But um, I'm, you know, I've, I'm really excited, because I, I, I just, this has opened my world. Like, it makes things, I'm half asleep. It makes things easier for me. I'm not stuck you know, with the things pinned up against the wall. Um, and I can keep it in motion, like I do all of my work all the time, just moving around and flipping and changing works and, you know, working on this one for a while, setting it aside and letting the painting set and coming to it later. I've forgotten how many. I, do I have nine paintings going now or something? Ten? I'm not even sure. So it's really important to me that I have mobility. All right. Now I'm going to wash up. i have also going to walk Bugsy, who's been waiting a long time for me to just pay attention to him. And then we got to get back to work, because I do not want to waste the day. And I have a couple hours before noon, and I start feeling like, you know, doom and failure is looming over my head. 
time to get to work. Ciao.